Hello, this is Dr. Edith uh, from Dental One on One. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your bay at home. And why it is important is because for infection control purposes, it's really good to have a, a habit of doing all like in order rather than doing it one day to another. Infection control is something that you guys should be doing on a daily basis. So we're going to start talking about the bracket table. All right, this is what we get in the exam. So we get our exam kit, we get our bear kit, we get one uh, flowable and we have our well. This is all here covered by a little orange lid. When we open this exam kit, we will find out that what we have is a, um, a Willis Pro, we have the mirror, mouth mirror, we have a explorer and a tweezers. All right, it's okay for you to put more instruments on the side as you work or to arrange it as you need. In the exam, usually you will find out your light on the side in your equipment, your dental chair, but at home, we don't have that setup, so we just leave the, the, the light at the bracket table. All right, this is how the top of the trolley should look while you're working. Remember, always keep it at Keep it very, very tidy and keep your um, instrument kit closed. The lid always has to be closed. Um, there's some, sometimes the lid hanging on the side, that's a breach of special control because someone can walk along the hallway and can knock all your cassettes. So make sure cassette is closed at all times. Whenever you need instrument, just pass it on the uh, bracket table and whenever you don't need, put it back into this cassette. All right, um, then we have three cups here. We have the first cup I usually use for sharps. The second will be for amalgam capsules, and the third will be for your amalgam waste. As well as we have our um, pro temp gum. I usually keep this in, in the top of the trolley because if I keep it in my bracket table, there's more likely I will, I will, um, you know, knock it down, and I don't want to be presenting a viva. And we have as well our scalpel. Okay, so what we do before going to break, make sure everything is tidy and if I'm going to be reusing my sharps, I will be putting a, a bit of a folded tissue on top of it and fold the tissue here as well and this is how my top of the trolley is safe. I will be disposing this uh, a scalpel if I don't use it again, so otherwise just make sure you leave it in a safe position. This is uh, a trolley that you will be finding in any uh, furniture store really across Australia and there will be different sizes as well, price is not too expensive. I really encourage you to get one of those because it will make your life easier. Um, usually it's, it's just you put it on the side and you are familiar first of all working with a transfer tweezers and you will be able to you know, retrieve whatever you need uh, clean from inside your drawer, right? Um, we're going to talk about what's in each trolley in your exam. Excellent. So let's open the first drawer and find out what's inside on how you can set up in your home. So pretty much you have all the materials for your tasks and you also will find a B3 system which is missing here. Now in the second uh, drawer we find dips and cups. Each cups, um, we here we name it so we know what's inside. This one is an amalgam capsule. This one will be amalgam uh, sharps, sorry. And this will be amalgam waste. All right. And in the last drawer, we'll find our loops. Okay, the loops are here. And this is where we should keep the loops at all times when we are at in break or when we about to start our exam. Beautiful. Alright, something that's also really important to have at home, it's all your ha um, your sanitizing station and having your gloves and your um, masks and tissues because that's going to give you into the habit that every time you deglove, you will be need to hand sanitize and then grab new gloves for it. Okay, so and also you need to have a basket at the bottom here as well where you're going to dispose all your, um, your PPE. So basically, uh, what we want is for you to have this infection control as a daily basis, rather than do it from one day to another, which is going to be really difficult 
to um, to grasp. Thank you for watching. Um, you're welcome to add anything that we have might have missed, and as well as to make any comment, make any question. We'll be more than happy to answer all of you. And please don't hesitate to to text us, and we will be coming with more videos. So stay tuned at Dental One On One.